Hello everybody, welcome to Phillies Baseball. The Video Game Network presents the Atlanta Braves and the Philadelphia Phillies. Brandon here with you for this broadcast. Game number 18 on the schedule here at Citizens Bank Park. And now, your Philadelphia Phillies. And the Phillies will take the field for this second game of a three-game series. Phillies will shut out three to nothing. Their second straight game, they will shut out. They've lost four straight. A pitching matchup is Alex Wood, two and one, with a 0.77 ERA against Aaron Harang. With a 6.75 ERA, he's looking to win his first game of the year. The Braves starting lineup is like this. A.J. Przinski will be the catcher for Johnny Gomes. So the Braves switch their starting lineup, and it will go up against Aaron Harang. Chris Johnson leads it off for the Braves. Johnson batting at 293. Chris Johnson. And that ball's flying on the first pitch in the left field over the head of Xavier Paul. So it'll be a double off the first pitch. And Chris Johnson. On board with a double. There's Nick Markakis, and he takes a ball. Now Rang has struggled. Trying to get on board and get his first win of the young season. No, no balls and two strikes. Ball. Inside one and two. Hit foul. And it's to the right side. What a dive by Chase Sutley. And he throws out Marquez. It was a high throw. Utley. Darren Ruff had to come up and get it. Moving up the third. It's Chris Johnson. Darren Ruff came up and made a nice catch before it got over his head. There's Freddie Freeman. On our third, it's a ball inside. And I'm all in no strikes to Freeman. That is, they're going to go home here. It's head down at home plate. What a good play and a good decision making by Darren Ruff to go home. Freddie Freeman's at first. It'll be a fielder's choice. Well, Ruff, he just went home right away. If he would have stepped on first, he wasn't going to be able to get that double play. But he went home, and here's Johnny Gomes. All in those strikes. Long was batting at 255. One and one. 
Oh, this is part two of our Harry Callis tribute series. As this series will pay tribute to the late great Harry Callis. One ball and two strikes. Couldn't do much last night. The Phillies were shut out. Hoping that the Phillies can get something going here today. Shut out in two straight games. Struck him out, and that will retire the side. No runs. One hit. And they leave one. We go to the bottom of the first. Atlanta, nothing. The Phillies coming to bat. And here's Ryan Sandberg. And his starting lineup with Ben Revere, Chase Utley, Brandon Joyne, Adrian Beltre, Salvador Perez, Darren Rupp, Xavier Paul, Andres Blanco, and Aaron Harang. And Alex Wood, who has had a great three games of his of the season 21 strikeouts gave up 18 hits has only walked four hasn't given up a lot of runs but he's given up his share of hits and here's Ben Revere Revere is batting at 214 one ball and no strike One and one to count. Two and one. Three balls and one strike. Chase Utley waits on deck. Wood has, doesn't walk a whole lot of batters. That's ball four. Revere draws a walk. And it'll bring up Chase Utley. Utley's batting at 265. You see his road and home numbers. Batting 346 on the road and 214 at home. He does have two home runs here at Citizens Bank Park. Accounted for his only home runs this season. The boss hit foul. No balls and one strike. Nothing in two. Alex Wood throwing a nice pitch right down the middle. Outside, one and two. Jordan waiting on deck. Phillies will go to St. Louis after this series at four with the St. Louis Cardinals. Two balls, two balls and two strikes to Utley. Foul. Two and two. All oh, bounces. Full count to Utley. Jordan waiting on deck. Little bouncer is foul.
Walk Dutley and he'll put two on with nobody out. And they'll bring up Brandon Jordan. Jordan batting at 242, three home runs, seven RBIs. Outside, one ball and no strikes. Five ball, that ball, shallow center field, and the ball gets by the center fielder. It gets behind Upton. Two runs are going to score. Jordan's at second base, and the Phillies lead it two to nothing here in the first inning. Well, that ball bounced up to try to dive for the ball, and it gets behind. It gets by him. They only score one run. Utley's at third. Excuse me, you couldn't see. Utley's at third. Revere comes around and scores, and Beltre skies it the deep left field, and this ball is out of here! Four for one, Adrian Beltre! Home run number 397, and the Phillies take a four to nothing lead here in the first inning. That is Beltre's second home run of the year. And career home run, 397. Still nobody out. Here's Salvador Perez. That is a strike, no balls in one strike. One and one. one, one. Oh. Two balls and one strike now. <laughs> two and two. Count now, Darren Ruff waits on deck. On Walked him. And it'll bring up Darren Ruff. Ruff batting at 400, has an RBI. Billy's nobody out. That is a ball, one ball and no strikes. Hit foul. Wood throwing 14 balls and only 10 strikes. Having his problems here in the first. Two and one. Three and one to count. Xavier Paul waits on deck. Oh, past the first baseman. And a base hit the right field. Phillies have two on. Still nobody out. Darren Ruff at first with a single. And it'll bring up Xavier Paul, who's betting at 278. Oh. 
One ball and no strikes. Ooh. One and one. Paul with two home runs. Ball and two strikes. The pitcher Aaron Harang waits on deck. Five ball, that's well hit in the center field. Hit pretty deep, and it is caught by Upton tagging and going to third base. Andres Salvador Perez. Perez. Excuse me, yes, Salvador Perez is Andres Blanco. Phillies will have batted around if they don't ground into a double play. Blanco takes a strike, no balls and one strike. Well, not a good start for Alex Wood. Who has thrown 32 pitches here in the first inning? Ball. One ball and one strike. Well, this is what the Phillies needed after being shut out in two games. One ball and two strikes. Side, two balls and two strikes. Full we'll count, Aaron Harang waits on deck. Ball's pretty well hit the right field. Marquette gets out of here. Ball blown on to Flacco. And the Phillies lead it seven to nothing here in the first. Unbelievable. That's Andres Blanco's first home run of the season. Bam. Just getting over the wall. And here is Aaron Harang. The Phillies have batted around. And it's a little half swing caught by the pitcher. Two out. Here's Ben Revere. Inside for a ball, one ball and no strikes. A bounce foul. Billy's a batted around plus one. Two and one to count. That ball in the shallow left. And it will be caught by Johnny Gomes. But the Phillies put a crooked number up. Seven runs on four hits. None left. We go to the second. Phillies lead it seven and nothing. It's A.J. Prasinski batting at 208. 
AJ Kerzinski. So Aaron Harang has seven runs to work with. Ball one. one ball and no strikes. One and one. Ball. Two balls and one strike. Two and two. Ball shot in the right field. That is hit pretty well. This ball is going to bounce. Played by Rivera. Przinski will go in the second. He's got a stand-up double. Batting six. Shortstop. Andrelton Simmons. So bring up Andrelton Simmons. Pazinski's third double of the year. And that is a strike. The ball's on one strike. The Simmons, who's betting at 216, one home run, and five RBIs. One and one. We're playing 11. One, one. Phillies with seven runs on four hits. Two three-run homers in one inning. Oh, Lord. Left field off the wall. It bounces off the wall. And heading in the second is Simmons. A run scores and is now a seven-to-one ball game. Second baseman, Alberto Cayaspo. That ball almost left the park. Here's Alberto Calypso. Batting at 228. Third double of the year for Simmons. Braves have a runner at second. Nobody out. A run in. Outside for a ball. One ball and no strikes. Hammered in the left field. That is going to get over Xavier Paul. A run's going to score, and it's now 7 to 2. On the second is Alberto Calypso. Center fielder, number two, Melvin Upton Jr. Here's Melvin Upton Jr. Braves have another run in and a runner at second. Ball One ball and no strikes. Open your eyes up. Upton has not, it doesn't have a batting average. He has not going to run. Hey. One ball and one strike. Back through the middle, base hit center field. Here goes Calypso. He's going to score, and it's now a 7-3 ball game. So the Phillies got a seven runs in the first. The Braves already with three here in the second, and the 7 nothing lead has been trimmed to 7-3. To Alex Wood. Still nobody out. Three runs in. Alex Wood, the batter. He'll be up the bunt. Does bunt. Oh. 
And Wood is out. The sacrifice is good. One down, and it'll bring up Chris Johnson. Sacrifice three unassisted. Johnson doubled in the first. Braves have a lot of doubles in this game. And two innings. That is a strike, and no balls in one strike. One and one to count. My ball center, shallow center field. Rivera will put it away for the second out of the inning. Here's Nick Marquez. He grounded out in the first. Ball and no strikes. To the right side, Utley with a nice play. Throw on the first, nice play by Utley. Rough digging the ball out. That'll retire the Braves. The Braves do get three runs on four hits. They leave one, but they're the bottom of the second. The Phillies lead is now down to four, seven to three. It's Chase Utley who walked and scored the run. And the first inning, part of that seven run first inning. That pitch is in for a strike. No balls and one strike. Two. Nothing in two. Ball and two strikes. Third strike struck him out. Here's Brandon Jordan who doubled his first time up in the first inning. The ball and no strike. Popped him up. Krasinski. Put it away. It's two outs here in the second. So Wood has settled down. Here's Adrian Beltre. He hit a three-run homer in the first. As I was saying, Wood has settled down after that seven-run inning. Lively crowd in that first inning here. Outside, two balls and no strikes. Inside, three and up. Salvador Perez waits on deck. Head over three and one. That's the ball. Take your name. And about Trey walks. And it'll bring up Salvador Perez. Perez walked in the first inning. Perez trying to get in the hit count. That is to the right side, spared by Freeman, who tagged the bag over at first. And that'll end the inning. The Phillies, no runs, no hits. They leave one. Good of the third, 7 to 3, Phillies.
Leading off for the Braves. First baseman number five. Freddie Freeman. At the two innings of play is the Phillies seven and the Braves three. Well, upcoming telecast of Phillies baseball will include tomorrow's game on WBRN, UPN 57. Ball. And the second and third, the third game of the series in St. Louis against the Cardinals Ball on two. Video Game Network. That um, game tomorrow will be a radio simulcast, but it will also be on radio and UPN. And for all other Phillies broadcasts, tune in to Keep It Real TV. It's KIR TV on the YouTube channel. You can see all the other Phillies games that are not broadcast on the video game network or on UPN. Freeman walks on four pitches. That is the first walk by Harang. Oh, Harang in some trouble is Johnny Gomes who struck out his first time up. Hit foul. Phillies will head to St. Louis for a four game series. So this game is important to them and they win with a take on those Redbirds. Fly ball in the center field, Ben Rebear. He'll make the catch and that's one down here in the third inning. Here's A.J. Pazinski who doubled and scored the run his first time up. And ball and no strikes. Hike. One and one. Hit on the left side and the base hit. Bronco couldn't handle it, and it'll be a base hit. Braves have their two men on base and one out. Oh, bring up Andrelton Simmons. Uh, this one got past the shortstop. Braves with two on, one out. Andrelton Simmons the batter. That is a strike. No balls on one strike. One and one. Harang has thrown 42 pitches. Two and one. Foul, two balls and two strikes. Another foul, two balls and two strikes. Ooh. Making them work here, still two and two. Ball oh, bounces up there, and a throw on a third, not in time. Salvador Perez, the guy by Perez. Runners move up to second and third with one out. They call that a wild pitch. It's a full count now for Simmons. Pass, harangue, and in the center field, a base hit. Two runs are going to score, and the lead is now cut to seven to five. Remember, the Phillies had a 7-0 lead after one inning of play. 
And now the lead is cut to just two. Tie and run coming up to bat and Alberto Calip Calypso. He doubled and knocked in the run his first time up. That is a strike, no balls in one strike. Orang has had his struggles. The balls hit foul, no balls and two strikes. That's foul. One and two. Did he go? That's a check. Did he swing? And he did not. Two and two. Sky in the right. Darren Ruff. Puts it away. And that is two outs. Here's Melvin Upton. Up next for Atlanta, the center fielder, Melvin Upton Jr. Runner at first, two outs. Bounced up there, one ball and no strikes. And on the ground, this will end the inning, throw on the second in time. I don't retire the Braves, but they do get two runs in the inning. On two hits, they leave one. We go to the bottom of the third, Phillies lead 7-5. to five. It's there, Rupp knocked in the run, who's first time up. He scored the run, excuse me. Single, and he scored the run. That is a strike, no balls and one strike. No. One and one. one, ball, one strike. No. Two balls and one strike. Three and one, Xavier Paul waits on deck. Walk Darren Ruff. Ruff, the leadoff base runner. And the Braves will make a pitching change here in the bottom of the third. Xavier Paul. Will come in. And Wandy, Wandy Rodriguez will come in this second game. He's pitched two and two thirds innings. Three strikeouts and no walks. Here's Xavier Paul. Jose Barras in the Braves bullpen. So it'll probably be a bullpen game today. As Wood ran into that Phillies lineup. Without Ryan Howard. Ball takes inside for a ball. 1-0. One and one to count. One and two. Phillies was due for a breakout game offensively. And they just 
They are doing just that. Ooh. Send it foul, one and two. Xavier Paul strikes out. And to bring up Andres Blanco. He also hit a three-run homer in the first inning. His first home run of the year. That's in for a strike, 0-1. One ball and one strike. Aaron Harang waits on deck. Get on the ground, it's going to be a double play ball. On the second for one, back to Freeman, not in time. Nice run out by Blanco. I thought it was going to be a double play ball, but it wasn't. And... It will bring up Aaron Harang, who popped up his first at bat. Five ball, right field, and foul going to the stands. One to count. One one. Two. One and two to count now. Ooh. Chase the bad pitch. He struck him out. That'll end the inning here in the third. The Phillies get a leadoff walk, but that's it. Matt Fasco's and one company will join you in the fourth. 7-5 Phillies. Here's the first offering. And here's a called strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. Now the pitch. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at one and one. Here comes the one one. Hit on the ground, but foul. That ball's foul. The one two. And a fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at two and two. Well, these are just extra pitches adding to your pitch count. I don't see why he wouldn't just go right after him. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Ready with another 2-2. On, -two. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. One away for the resurgent third baseman, Chris Johnson. First pitch to him. Good fastball there to start the at-bat as Harang jumps ahead, nothing and one. Boy, good pitch, good spot. That thing tailed right back over the outside corner. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control, 0-2. The pitch. And he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses. And even on 0-2, you don't want guys to get into a comfort level up there. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. He'll try again, one, two. And this is swung on and missed, though the ball did hit the ground, so he'll need to go to first. Throw to first will take care of him. Score it two to three on the put out, and there are two gone now. Yeah, a nice job behind the plate. He wants it low, so he's got a good idea that this ball might be in the dirt, so. He's able to smother it and then make the strong throw to first. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. As he'll look yeah. at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. Now the pitch. 
over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Next pitch from Harang will be number 70 in the ballgame. Now this pitch is stroked into right center field, and that'll get down for a base hit. Freddie Freeman will dig in. He walked and later scored last time. Freeman. And here's the first pitch. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Brave strand one. They're down two, seven to five. Ben Revere will lead it off here for Philadelphia to be followed on deck by Chase Utley. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Lays off 1-0. and oh. well, I think that's consistent with how the strike zone gets called nowadays. That's a strike in the rule book, but most umpires won't give you that pitch anymore. one -oh pitch now. Here's a hard hit ball ripped down the first base line, but a foul ball, one and one. One one on the way. Now here's a ground ball that'll get by the mound and into center field for a leadoff single. It's been a game of offense so far, so no surprise the leadoff man's on base again. So let's see what we've got in store for us this time around. Chase Utley will stand in now, and he'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. First pitch coming. First pitch fastball in on the fists for ball one. And you figure now this would be a spot where that man might try to take second base. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to hold the ball a little longer out there on the mound. Really vary your times to the plate. You can't be predictable out there or he'll take advantage. Utley awaits the 1-0. Inside and he falls behind the hitter now 2-0. And you wonder if he's feeling just a little bit distracted having that base stealer over there at first base. Sometimes just the threat of a steal can really mess with your head out there. Now the 2-0 home. Here we go. Over the outside half, and it's 2-1. And, and you wonder if maybe he was taken there because he thought his runner was going to be moving from first. Now the 2-1. Hit hard but fouled off toward the dugout. Sets the 2-2 pitch. And this is swung on and missed by Utley as he's retired for route number one. Well, this curveball, it just disappears. And he thinks he's right on it at the plate. Look where it winds up completely out of the zone. That's what you want as a pitcher. You want hitters to chase pitches that aren't strikes. Stepping in now, Brandon Jordan, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. That's a good pitch call right there on that fastball away. That works almost like a pitch out, just in case he's thinking about it over there at first. Here's the 1-0. And this pitch is lined into center field, and he's going to reach with his second hit of the night. And you know as a hitter, you're seeing the ball so well when you can take a pitch like that and square it up and just hammer it right back up the middle. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Beltre, as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Now you can bet they'll pitch him carefully with a couple guys on base. Seven runs, just six hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. 
comes set. Now the pitch. And he'll take this one as well. It's now 2-0 to the Philly third baseman. And now at the plate with a 2-0 count, it's not just, hey, this has to be a strike. You've got to look for one pitch in one location and then let it rip. Beltre sitting on the 2-0. Gets the call on the changeup there, 2-1. Pretty gutsy pitch there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. The 2-1. That's on the outside corner. Count two and two. Yeah, the best way to neutralize this guy's power, just keep putting pitches right there. Oh no, here we go. First and second now, one man out. Let's go, Let's Here's the two and two home. Okay. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. EK, where are you going now on three and two? I still got to work a corner. Not just going to throw it right down the middle and grab a strike. Can't be a giveaway pitch. Hit hard, but foul toward first, so he'll come back and line it up again. The next three, two. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. The next 3-2. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Salvador Perez will step in, a ground out victim as last time. Here's the first pitch to him. And obviously looking for the ground ball here as this misses low. It's 1-0. And I think he's going to have to summon up every bit of his experience to get out of this one. Uh, he's certainly been through it before. If anybody can do it, he can. Line hard to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't sure they were going to send him on that ball. This was hit awfully hard, but they decided to roll the dice and take a chance to score him, and it's going to wind up paying off. Darren Ruff will get a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. First pitch coming. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Oh. And with two outs, you want to make sure those guys earn that run. Well, don't let them score on a wild pitch. Here's the 1-1. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's 1-2. and two. Come on! Now the 1-2. Struck him out, but he'll try for first on the drop third strike. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Johnny Gomes will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. The left fielder number seven, Johnny Gomes. First pitch on the way. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Now here's the pitch. And that misses one and one. Well, this is a spot where it helps to have a two-seam fastball like that so you can work in on the right-handed hitters. Ready now on one and one. Now a foul tip that's held onto with the plate, and the count moves to one and two now. Oh, man, what a perfect pitch right there in a perfect spot. 
And that's exactly how you have to attack a guy like this. He wasn't even close on that pitch. Here comes the one-two. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. You know, I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away? Fastball is outside. It's full now, three and two. We saw this in his last start. He just hasn't been able to find that put away pitch with two strikes that you got to have at this level. Here's the payoff pitch. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Offense, apparently not hard to come by tonight as you get a look at our line score through the first half of the ball game. And boy, the runs have been coming fast and furious so far. So one away here with the bases empty. And in steps their catcher, A.J. Pierzynski. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Now here's the pitch. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. And that's the right spot for that slider. Really try hard to tie him up inside. And that's a good job to lay off, too. Pierzynski waiting. Now the one one. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. There to get it is Upley. Throw to first retires Pierzynski for the second out. Now batting, shortstop, Andrelton Simmons. Andrelton Simmons will dig in. He singled and drove home two his last time. Now here's the first pitch. Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. The 1-0. And he looks at a slider in there. One and one. Two out, nobody on. The 1-1 home. And a half-hearted attempt that time as he broke the plane of the plate. It's a ball and two strikes now. One, two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Yeah, and on one and two, when you know the guy at the plate needs to protect, that's a great spot for that curveball. A lot of guys, they would have gone fishing for that. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. Right there is Beltran. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Nothing happening there against Aaron Harang as it's still a three-run cushion. Xavier Paul will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. And so now the Braves will get both a left-hander and a right-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Good breaking ball there. Had him frozen. Strike one. Not a bad idea to take a look at that one there. Now that you've seen the curveball, you can start to get a better gauge on it. Get a feel for what it looks like coming out of the pitcher's hand. And the pitch. And he sends one deep down the right field line. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Pretty fortunate he was able to keep this ball fair. This is pretty close down the line. You see it winding up one hop in the wall down there. That allows him to cruise into second three bases. Andres Blanco will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. Now here's the first pitch. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. Yeah, this pitch is just nowhere near the target. You see him run in and catch him 
right about thigh high. I have a feeling the bruise will be worse than the pain. That'll leave a nice rainbow for a good couple of weeks. In now, Aaron Harang. Now a bunt attempt for Harang as he puts this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. And with your pitcher at the plate, you always like it when he can get that bunt down on the very first pitch. Not only do you let him get back to the dugout and rest up just a little bit, but you also keep that momentum going. And that's a nice job right there. Here's Ben Revere. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. Oh. Runners are at second and third with one down. The 1-0. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. The 2 0 on the way. Outside and low, 3 and 0. Mm. Just did manage to catch that one with the last two inches of his glove. That could have been trouble. Let's see it, Philadelphia. The 3 and nothing pitch. And he gets this fastball over back to three and one now. It's done now, Phil. Come on, Ben. The three one coming. Thought it was ball four, but it's in there. Three and two. Payoff pitch home. Here's one hit towards the hole. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. And with two guys in scoring position, that might not be exactly what he was hoping to do, but he will pick up one RBI for his efforts, and he does move the other runner to third, now with two away. Chase Utley will look to try and get that second run of the inning across, as he'll have a runner at third now with two away. Now the first pitch hit hard towards the hole. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And boy, if these guys turn things around from 24 hours ago. Remember last night, they couldn't do anything. Wound up getting shut out. Tonight, a much, much different story. Brandon Jordan. We'll try and keep things going now with the runner at first following the RBI single. Here's the first offering. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Both teams with eight hits in this one. One zero on the way. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball toward the hole, and just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. Yeah, he's swinging a pretty hot bat. Three for four now after the base hit. That wasn't a little bleeder. That ball was smoked. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one.
two down runners at first and second. Now the 1 0 pitch and he'll take this one as well. It's now 2 and 0 to the Philly third baseman. Yeah he, he's looked at two close pitches. You get the feeling that this is the calm before the storm. I think he'll unload on this one if this thing is anywhere near the zone. Maybe trouble now. Here's the 2 and 0 and good contact there as this is hit high and deep to right center. And he will get there as he had to cover a lot of ground to make that play. And that ends the inning. Another good inning here for the Phillies. And the brotherly love is in abundance now. More from Citizens Bank Park in just a moment. Alberto Callaspo will step in to get things started for the Braves in their half of the sixth. Alberto Callaspo. First pitch coming. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. The one one. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Right-hander deals on one and two. Now here's a shot toward the gap in left center, and they're not going to run this one down. This should be extra bases to start the inning. He'll take the turn and head for second, and he is in there to start the sixth. It's a leadoff double. And after going hitless in last Number night's two. ball game, he's Melvin turned things Melvin around Captain here. That's his Jr. second hit of the ball game, and he's in at second base with a well-hit double. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound. And we're going to have a change coming up as that'll be all for Aaron Harang. So he does work the requisite five innings for the win, but he leaves his bullpen a tough road to hoe. Justin DeFreitas will take over on the mound now here in the sixth inning. Number 30, Justin Melvin Upton Jr. will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be doing so with the runner in scoring position and still nobody out. Tried to check his swing and it's a little looper to the left side. And Beltre will take this one in for route number one. That's something a lot of men suffer from. Fear of commitment. He can't make up his mind whether to swing at this pitch or not. So he tries to hold up, but it's too late as this turns into an easy little liner over to third. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. He waits. Now the pitch. Hit hard toward the right side. And this is going to find some real estate out there as he comes through off the bench with extra bases. And the runner will score from second. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Chris Johnson will get another crack. One for three thus far. Now the first pitch. Swing and a shot toward right center. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. And the runner is in from second. And he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one-out double. Well, I got to tell you, I love the way this guy just lets it rip. Ahead in the count, behind in the count. It really doesn't matter to this guy. He's just going to go up hacking. And he drives in a run right here as he just drills this one for two bases. Jake Diekman will be the new pitcher. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder, as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Tough spot here for a left-handed hitter, facing a guy that's exceptionally tough on lefties. Yeah, you generally get so many at-bats against right-handed pitching, now you're in a good RBI spot, and you're stuck facing a guy like this. Here comes the 2-0. 3-0 now. 
no shortage of extra base hits as you see the totals there. Here it is, the 3-0. Yep. And he'll just lay this one in there, three and one. Figure we'll probably see a heavy dose of that sinker here tonight. It's really a pitch you'll lean on, especially when he needs that ground ball, but even in situations like this where he's just trying to get ahead. On to first, and Markakis is retired two away. Freddie Freeman will stand in, one of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Here's the first offering. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Yeah, showing no fear there. He put the pitch right at the letters away, but that guy didn't want any part of it. Comes set, now the pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind, nothing in two. Down 0-2 after two great sliders. He's got his work cut out for him now. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. The five, six, and seven slots do up in the bottom of inning number six. The Phillies lead it 10 to seven. Takeover. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. Now the 1 0. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side, but foul. One one pitch on the way. Now a liner caught out there by Simmons. A sizzler that time, but the leadoff man is retired to begin the home sixth. Darren Ruff will dig in now. One for two to this point. First pitch to him. Right hander against right hander as this is a ball one and oh. Here's a one oh. A little over anxious that time as it's a ball and a strike. Here's the one one pitch. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. The one and two with one away to two balls and two strikes now. Here he comes on two and two. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Xavier Paul will step in. He doubled and later scored his last time. Now a ball lined hard toward right center, and that is going to be a base hit. Andres Blanco will stand in, and as he does, we'll flash you back to the first inning of the ball game. A three-run shot had him off and running right out of the gate. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. And here's the first pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. One zero. Now a ball hit sharply on the ground to third. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. One left for Philadelphia. They still lead it though, ten to seven. Let's do it. Ball and no strikes to Gomes. Back here in the seventh inning. Two to count. Two enough. Wild well, game so far here tonight. Two and one to count. Two two. Struck him out, one down here in the seventh. The 
Here's AJ Brzezinski. Foul, two and one. That ball foul. Foul down the right field line. Final game of this series is tomorrow. Duck him out. Two down here in the seventh. Speaking with two strikeouts. Angelton Simmons will bat. Two for three. Double in the single. That's foul ball. Is still on the hook for the win here. He can't lose it. He can win. Harang will love to win his first game. Struck him out. Think that strikes out the side. And that'll retire the Braves here in the seventh. They go in order. It's stretch time at Citizens Bank. We go to the bottom of the seventh. It's 10 to 7, Phillies. Your attention, please. Been hitting for the Phillies. Number nine. Dominic Brown. Dominic Brown will be the pinch hitter. Ferris throws inside for a ball. On ball and one strike to Dominic Brown. On ball and two strikes. Bounced up there, two and two. Full count, Ben Bear waits on deck. He's gonna walk ya! Brown strikes out. Ben Bear will lead off, one out. Excuse me, Ben Bear will be up second. Not in the room. There sends this one in the center field. Melvin Upton. Drop it, drop it, drop it. We'll squeeze it. And that's two outs here in the seventh inning. There's Chase Utley. He has a single in the RBI. It is foul.
0 and 2. Ball. One ball and two strikes. Play 12. One, two, six, to the count. Playing two balls, two strikes. Inside, two balls and two strikes. Let's go. Here we go. Three balls, two strikes, down the score. Jordan waits on deck. Come on, Ali. Let's go now. Take your base. And Ali walks with two outs here, and Brandon Jordan will bat. Take a look at some AL scores and elite scores. Brandon Jordan double and single twice. Strike to Jordan. Mets beating the Yankees at Yankee Stadium. Ball. We're playing 11. 1-1. One, one. Philly is trying to break their four-game losing streak here tonight. Two balls and one strike. Beltray waiting on deck. Walk Utley and the danger in walking Jordan. They got Beltray on deck. Go ahead, swing it strike. That is foul. Jordan staying alive. Another foul. Come on, press this next hit. Here we go. All sky in the left. Field foul side, it will go out of play. Another foul. Nice at bat by Brandon Jordan. He's making Varys throw a lot of pitches here. In the bottom of the seventh, two outs. Utley will go again. Here. Leaves this one on the ground to Varys and make the play to first. And that'll retire the Phillies. No runs, hit theirs, and one left. To go to the eighth, the Phillies 10 to break seven. Ken Giles into the game is tip game, 1-0 and oh, and a 1.80 ERA, six strikeouts and one walk. He'll face Alberto Calypso and he doubled twice and had an RBI. Jonathan Papelbon is in the bullpen. Alberto Callespo. That's a strike, no balls and one strike.
foul. Balls and two strikes. That is foul. Giants lead the Rockies six to three in the fifth. Struck him out. Braves have struck out four straight times. You see the innings. Uh, Ryan gave up six runs on nine hits. Wood, seven runs on four hits. He walked five. Here's Melvin Upton Jr. He got Pettibon up. Hit on the ground, the block up. Two outs here in the eighth. Here you see the line score. Braves had two runs in the sixth inning. And that's all they've had ever since. So he's added one in the fourth, two in the fifth. Eric Young Jr. will be the pinch hitter. Wide in the center field. Ben Revere puts it away, and that'll retire the Braves team in the eighth. They go in order. We go to the bottom of the eighth. It's 10 7. Three. Your attention, please. Jim Johnson, the new pitcher for the Braves. His sixth game he has a 9.00 earn run average, seven innings. He has struck out 11. Adrian Beltre is one for two. He had a three run homer in the first inning. Well played with 397 career home runs, and that pitch is low. And Marlon, no strikes. Two and zero. That over. the second baseman and one out here in the eighth. There's Salvador Perez. His struggles continue. He is sacrificed and walks. No ball, one strike. It's a strike. No balls and one strike. One and one. Four, two. One ball, two strikes. One ball and two strikes to Perez. Back through the middle. That's a base hit. So Perez breaks his struggles. He has a hit in this game. And he'll bring up Darren Ruff. Well, that's good for Perez. He's been struggling as of late. Finally gets a base hit. Ruff takes a strike. No balls in one strike. Phillies and Braves both with 11 hits.
One ball and one strike. One and two. Strike there, and Ruff strikes out. Two outs. Take a look at his last pitch. Yep. Here's Xavier Paul. No balls and one strike. Xavier Paul. One, two. Sit there's and none left to go to the ninth. Phillies lead it to the seventh. So Jonathan Pat uh, Ryan Sandberg is gonna make a double switch here. Your attention, please. Jonathan Pepper is a new pitcher. Now pitching and batting in the sixth spot, number 58. Jonathan Papelbon. Now playing first base and batting in the ninth spot. Number six, Ryan and Ryan Howard. Howard will play first base here. Braves. Out for the Braves. Third baseman. Their last Chris chance Johnson. in the ninth inning. Chris Johnson will lead off for the Braves. Skyed in the center field. Ben Rebear. One out on one pitch here in the ninth inning. And I'll bring up Nick Marcakis. Nick Marcakis. One strike to Marcakis. Jonathan Papelbon wants a one, two, three inning. Anticipating the strikeout here. Still one and two. to the count. Full count now, Freddie Freeman waiting on deck. Jordan going back is going to bounce off the wall. And they're going to hold to a long single. First baseman number five. 
Freddie Freeman. Oh, Mark Hake is to a long single. Freddie Freeman will bat. He's 0 for 3. Struck out in the third. He homered last night for the Braves. Hey, try turning the double play for one. Ball. Ball and no strike. By Xavier Paul, two out, two in the ninth. Here's Johnny Gomes, last chance for the Braves. Pebble Bond trying to hold down his save and break the Phillies' four game losing streak. One ball and no strikes. Strikes. AJ Pruszynski waits on deck. Get a piece of the play. Got that over is three and one. Full count now. Fans on their feet anticipating a final strike here. Fly ball right field is pretty well hit. Jordan going back and it is out of here. Paul Brad A.J. Prasinski. It is a 10 to 9 ball game here in the ninth inning. Phillies lead us cut to a run. Excuse me, Johnny Gomes. Excuse me. A.J. Prasinski is on deck. He's the batter next. Let's we'll take a look at this home run ball by Johnny Gomes. It looked like it was going to be caught. But that ball traveled out in a hurry. It's 10 to 9, and here's A.J. Pruszynski. A.J. Pruszynski. Aaron Haran looking for his first win. Fly ball to deep right field. Joy going back, and it's off the wall. It bounced off the wall. Pruszynski's going to second. He's got a double. Oh, man. It doesn't get any easy. A double for Pazinski. Braves a tie and run on second base. One strike to Simmons. He is two for four. He doubled and singled. Oh, and two now. So the fans standing up, anticipating the final strike here. Foul. Oh, and two. Oh, 
Bounces up there. One ball and two strikes. Two and two. Howard, does he have room? He will squeeze it, and the Phillies hang on to win it by the score of 10 to 9. <laughs> Aaron Harang picks up his first win of the season. His first win as a Philly. Oh, it was a nail biter. But they finally get it done here at Citizen Bank Park. Phillies had a 7-0 lead here in the first inning. What a game this was here tonight. Bills win by the score of 10-9. See the line score for Phillies. Braves Meyer run 14 hits no edge. Aaron Harang picks up the win. He's 1 and 2. Alex Wood picks up the loss. He is 2 and 1. Our player of the game is Adrian Dubsley. He has one hit. We have that. He has three run home run. He has 397 home runs for his career. He is our player of the game. Well, our next game cast will be tomorrow on UPN. Radio simulcast. Phillies win it 10 to 9. We'll talk to you again on the Phillies YouTube Network.